Morning. This is Arnie Waters here, Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope your holiday season is shaping up just the way you would like. Uh, we've had a very profitable year of trading in 2011. Uh, we want to go over a couple of things that we think are going to affect the market well into 2012. Uh, international instability. Kim Jong-il II has died. Uh, you know, the North Koreans have been starving for a long time. Uh, I don't know how much longer this North Korean government will be able to keep people from finding out what's been going on in the rest of the world. And as indicated this morning, when they fired off a test missile, the North Koreans uh, not only have missiles, there are some of us who suspect that the Pakistanis uh, have sold to them nuclear secrets. But that's just a suspicion among those of us who have little faith. Uh, secondly, the Chinese uh, situation uh, is uh, rapidly, when I say rapidly declining, I do not mean that I expect a popular uprising to take over China in the foreseeable future. What I mean is that there are more and more instances of where the 610 office and its allied state security apparatus uh, are in fact leading us down, leading uh, their country down the road to more and more repression. The more repression that the, they employ, the worse the situation is going to be for China as a whole. You will note, as we have noted, that in Russia, which we'll come to in a moment, um, uh, the, the, the pressure for change is not coming from uh, the people in the ruling class. Excuse me, it's not coming from uh, the serf type people. It is coming from people who are active members of the ruling class, class and their relatives. The sign that their relatives are involved is indeed uh, something that would lead us to conclude that many higher ups are very dissatisfied. This is exactly the similar situation in China. In China, uh, many of the most successful capitalists are rapidly offshoring their capital and indeed they're offshoring themselves. The situation between Russia and China and the treatment of the ruling class people has not reached the level in China. But smart Chinese centimillionaires and billionaires would be well to look at the Russian model of if you say anything the government doesn't like, the government confiscates all your stuff <clears throat> and puts you in jail for the next few years. In Russia, of course, Putin's support is dwindling. Indeed, over the weekend, uh, he raised the specter of America uh, being the evil boogeyman, uh, another sign of a weak hand. I mean, this is so classic. This is so classic. Uh, you know, next thing, you know, he already started with outside agitators, Hillary Clinton. I've always thought of her as an outside agitator. Ha ha. So <clears throat> those are some points. The reason we're spending so much time talking about these international issues is they're ultimately going to affect the price of gold very positively. Um, the market seems to be setting up for people taking, uh, taking profits in positions rather than accumulating positions. Our final comment has to do with U.S. banks. For every dollar that U.S. banks have on hand, they have five dollars in obligations. So if everybody went to the bank and demanded their money, we would get about 20 cents on the dollar. So with that extremely delightful thought, we'll leave you for the day. Uh, I hope you have a super day. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep your powder dry. This is a professional trader's market the next few days. Really tomorrow, because I think there's a holiday. Uh, I think Hanukkah is Tuesday or Wednesday. And then we're off into the whole holiday New Year time, uh, at which point we suspect we will return to the path of gold bullishness. The contrary indicator that more and more people are scared of gold means, of course, that gold is more likely to rise. We're in the gold is more likely to rise category, but we don't see any reason to lose profits gained the hard way throughout the year in the last couple of days of trading. So this is Arnie Waters. Thanks for watching. Have a super day.